friends this is ganesh and the video number 7 in this video i am going to explain how to debug a background job and how to start the debugging from a pop up window okay it can be technically we call it as model dialog box so there is a pop up normally pop up window doesn't have the option to put slash h we call it as command field so that command field is not available in the model dialog box in that case how we can trigger or initiate the debugging mode so these are two things i'm going to explain in this uh, video and the first one is background job so background job or we call it as bad job in some situation we need to debug the background job because it takes more time or sometimes there is a difference in the output between the foreground and background so we need to identify what is happening exactly in the background side so there are two options we have the first one is without uh, sorry before activate or before releasing the background job i want to debug it so the scenario would be um, the output is differs between foreground and background or some scenario is working fine in foreground some is not in background so in that scenario what we are going to do is i am going to trigger the program in a background mode along with the debugging option so that is the first one and second one uh, i am going to debug the active background job so background job is running so in the middle of the background job running i want to do a debugging option i want to exactly know in which uh, program line the con the cursor is currently available or which uh, module which processing block is currently processing by the program so i want to analyze why it's happening more time kind of so in that case i'm going to uh, debug the active background job okay so these are two things we are going to see today's video i will show you uh, the system now so this is my system and i have a, a dummy program because i want some programs to be keep on running then only i am able to do a bag, uh, debugging in the background uh, jobs uh, normally it is not taking much time you are not able to debug it at the active state so that's why i created a dummy program uh, which has a very simple code you are able to understand it's kind of a, a infinite loop i have made it and uh, and some loop statements okay so le uh, let me go through the program first so uh, one simple select statement uh, taking the value from ekpo table and uh, there is a do and end do so this is a infinite loop normally you have a do with some times do 100 times do 1000 times or do n times n can be dynamically filled in the program but here i'm doing a infinite loop so do and end do inside the do and end do i'm just keeping one loop this is to explain the scenario okay this internal table is taking more time than the actual uh, processing time so that's why i keep simply loop and end loop there is no process in that in uh, real time scenario you have lot of codes between this loop and end loop and uh, i'm i'm just keep one statement so forcefully i want to exit from this uh, do and end to so i'm just keeping this variable is equal to x then exit so this is not going to be x as per the programming code but in debugging i am going to change the value of this lv exit as x initially is a blank i am going to keep it x then it will allow me to come out of this program okay so this is a dummy program to just explain the scenario and you can correlate this one with your actual scenario okay so let me create a bad job for this so first i am going to uh, show you how to debug a uh, uh, program uh, background program before it gets active state okay so for that first i have to do keep a breakpoint okay and go back and i'm going to execute this program in the background mode so execute i'm going to do a background job okay it this can be do in sm36 also go to sm36 and do it that way also you can do it but here is a little easiest way so program but you need to be in the sc38 initial screen not inside the program you won't get this option so go to program execute and background mode executed this program doesn't have any initial uh, input screen so i'm going to get it is schedule one i'm not going to execute immediately because if you click execute immediately it will go automatically to the active state so now i need a background job in the future because i want to initiate or start the background job in the debugging mode okay so i already kept a breakpoint inside my 
program. So I'm going to do use as schedule concept. And when you want to do it, uh, maybe the same day, I can say it after 10 minutes. Okay. And schedule once. I need a name for this uh, bad job. Let me go with the same name and schedule once. So here you will you come to know report name is scheduled. Okay. So let me go to SM37 to view the bad jobs, background job list of bad jobs. So I can go with some names, otherwise it will give a lot of list and execute it. So this is released, it's not active. This is just released, it's not started also. Okay, because it will start after 10 minutes. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to start this program, this debugging program in a debug in a debugging mode. Okay. So here what I'm going to do is select the job name. And go to the command field. This is the what I, I mentioned about command field. Whatever field you are enter the transaction code and all right. This is a command field. So here you have to enter the transaction code called J D B G. Okay. No slash and no slash O. There is no slash between this. Only four characters you have to enter. Make sure you select the job which you want to start in the debugging mode. Just click enter. Now you are able to see in the down. ABAP debugger starts. So now it starts here. Forget about wherever you are. Okay. This is actually not your program. This is actually a standard program. So press F8 because we have set already a um, <coughs> session breakpoint in my program. So just click F8. It will go on stops there. Now it's yes. So now this is a way to start a background job in the debugging mode. So make sure this is not an active state. It's just job is created and is released state only. Okay. Now you can just start whatever you want. Just analyze whatever you want over here. So here what happens is the infinite loop. So it will execute keep on uh, this loop statement. And this loop has almost 22,000 records. It's keep on executing it. So now you can understand. Okay. This is a way this background job is triggering. This is a way this background job is not triggered. Now generally what happens is in foreground something is working, background is not working. So this is a way you can identify why it's not working in the background job. So now what I can do is I'm going to change this exit to X. Otherwise what happens it will execute infinite loop because the do and end do. It's, it won't be uh, this variable is not going to be um, re replaced with X. The, there is no code over here. So I need to just click x so i'm just come out of this program so let's execute fully just execute it's come out of it it's not it released it's it started only it just released state okay so clear this is the way you can uh, start a background job in a debugging mode and the next one is the same program i'm going to debug once you start active wording it like uh, not active wording once you start executing it okay meaning uh, technically the job is in active state so let me go back uh, before that let me delete this otherwise after 10 minutes it might start it might give some confusion so let me delete the job yes it's deleted it okay so now let me go to my okay no, I didn't open it let me open my program again slash se38 so that is easy to create a background job uh, than sm36 so that's why i always prefer start the background job in this manner so go program execute background and now it's an execute immediately so immediately it will save and it will start um, executing the program execute immediately it started report report name started as background job that is the um, uh, yeah, success message is coming in your taskbar so now go to here sm37 yes it's active you can see its duration is 11 seconds if you refresh it keep on changing the duration based on the seconds how many seconds it's keep on running it's an infinite program so it's keep on running until you stop manually or you need to change the flag like lv exit flag is x then only it will come out of the program it will stop the program basically so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the debugging for this program so just select it job name select the job name whichever you want and click job capture active job so this will create a, another new window for a debugging mode. Okay, it will create. So currently the program is running. So once you click this active job, it automatically go to the next uh, stage and it will stops over there. 
okay <clears throat> okay so job capture active job and make sure you need some sessions because it opens the debugger in the next window so click active job so here it is so currently it executes almost 9355 records maybe one or second time not sure because it do right so now it stopped once you click capture active job it stopped exactly where the cursor is available okay let's keep on running if even if you have keep on running until it needs to be changed as x or we need to kill the job okay so this is a way to uh, check the active background job so you have option called capture active job okay so you come to know okay this internal table has this much record so this is running uh, maybe unconditionally or the condition whatever is given it's not executing for our business scenario so we need to change the um, coding based on the business requirement so this is a way you, you need to analyze okay you need to analyze why this background job is either executing more time or not executing for the particular scenario clear yeah. and now what i'm going to do is uh, let me do these two options one is either you can do application continues running so what happens is you can come out of the debugging mode then the application is nothing but job is it's going to be run and second option is exit exit close application meaning you are killing the job and you come out of this application okay so depends on the scenario whatever you want now you can say okay i got a point so it's no way it's going to be executed again it's not useful so kill the job that is the one scenario next scenario okay i identify it let's the job runs and finish it i want to know how long it runs or some other scenario i have to run because it may be middle of the updating your table quality environment or production environment so it's not a, a feasible solution to kill the job in the middle in that is a case go with the option exit application continues running i'm going to choose that option now I just come out of it so if you click refresh let's keep on increasing 215 216 the duration okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kill the job so job capture active job it'll take you to the debugging mode okay and I'm going to use debugger close application it will ask do you want to close the application yes so now if we come and click refresh so job got cancelled okay so that is little careful while coming out of the transaction uh, which option you have to use application continues running or close the application okay so this is a way to debug the active job now i'm going to show one more option uh, let me create the job again okay, here itself i can do what select it go to job repeat scheduling immediate save the job is ready okay it's released it's getting delay so let's wait once it comes still active so once it is active you have another transaction to do the same whatever i did so far job capture active job same thing you can do a transaction called sm5050 okay in sm50 you are able to uh, stop the particular debugging job in the middle okay now it's active it's changed into active so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a, another window with transaction sm50 it will show you what are the jobs or what are the processor what are the things you are running over here work process so here you just come you, know, you need to identify which is your program based on the user id or based on the uh, name of the program so it depends okay so you have to select which your program you want so this is running more on second yeah then go to the option called administration program debugging then it will ask do you want to debug this program you're going to say yes then it will open this particular um, window in the particular debugging mode in the separate window it's same like the last one so whatever i have showed the same way okay it's open here now you are able to identify why it's taking more time so this is another way to um, debug the active background job clear so the, you have another ways to go out uh, let me um, change this value and i want to exit smoothly 
so no killing the job so press f8 so it's come out of it now go to your job and refresh it's finished now it's a finished state because i uh, smoothly means i true programmatically i stopped the program stopped the background job so it's successfully completed the status and those status is finished so hope it might useful uh, to know how to uh, debug the background job in a two different scenarios the next one i'm going to show you is how to debug model dialog box is simply we call it as pop-up window if there is a pop-up window i need to start the debugging it is some uh, it's a rare scenario maybe you can encounter the same thing in your uh, experience sometimes we need to start exactly what is happening if i press continue button in the pop-up window if i close pop-up window or a pop-up window has particular selection criteria so if i select this option button and then click this uh, push button or create button what is happening so my debug starts from the uh, from after the event triggers from the model dialog box or a pop-up window okay so for that what we had to do because this option this command field is actually not available in any of your model dialog box in sap so let me take the standard transaction mm02 it's very rare scenario we are not going to debug that but just an uh, example i want to show you so this is the model dialog box pop-up window i want to uh, just check what is happening if i click continue button after selecting the basic data view and if i click continue what will happen so for that i need to start my debugging here i can give slash h here also i can give slash h because there's a pop-up window you can go here and put a slash h for the pop-up window for that you need a small uh, four line code that should be in the notepad normal dot txt file okay it's very simple if you google it model dialog box debugging the all the four lines will come okay you'll get very easily and uh, uh, put it in the notepad and save it somewhere in your uh, system because we need to drag and drop it okay so keep it handy so here i have saved that particular program over here any name you can give any name of the file the file should be dot txt nothing much and this is the code so this is the function and the command is slash h title is a debugger and type is a system command okay make sure there is no spelling mistake so just save it okay and close it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop this file to the model dialog box where you want to start your debugging okay we do this just drag and drop it here so it, it shows like this just leave it and you're able to see in the down it shows debugging switched on okay and if you click continue exactly it will take you to the debugging mode what happens after this after you click the uh, enter button or here it's a tick mark so this is the standard program for mm02 or 01 after you click OK based on the view, it will take. It's a di model dialog programming. It comes here. From there, you can start working on it. Okay. So this is similar for any kind of pop-up window in SAP. It might be a standard or it may be a custom transaction. Whatever it is, you can very easily debug the uh, model dialog box or a pop-up window in SAP. Okay. So hope that will be clear. I'm not going to execute further because it will be a more uh, work on it. So this is the way. Just if you execute fully, it comes to the next level. After click, it will come to the basic data one of your material master transaction. Okay. So these are the two things which I want to cover in this video. One is how to debug a background job and how to uh, debug a model dialog box in SAP. Okay, that can be any transaction, custom transaction or standard transaction, whatever it is, you can proceed further. So if you have any doubt on this or any of my previous videos, please write to my Gmail. So a few people are writing some comments and uh, uh, asking some queries on it. I'm just replying back, maybe not an immediate day, uh, probably two to three days based on my time permits. So I will reply back to their questions and queries as well. Okay, thank you so much and see you in the next useful video. Bye.